I'm Tracy Bankster with today's Record News Watch. Firemen from several companies, as well as the Orange County Hazardous Materials Unit, responded to a fire in the town of Wallkill late this morning that engulfed a trailer containing batteries. The vehicle was bound for Revere Smelting Corporation when the trailer caught fire. It was pulled into 84 Lane, that's the roadway off Route 211, leading to Middletown Honda and Gander Mountain. Firemen used foam to keep down the black acrid smoke. Water would then be used to douse what was left of the trailer. Wallkill Public Works Commissioner John Lippert was on the scene to monitor any water runoff contamination. Well, it may run off and it may, uh, we're going to control it as best we can. It may come into some adjacent storm basins. We're preparing them to find out exactly where they go so that we can uh, deal with any uh, contaminated water that enters them. We may have to plug these off. Uh, we, we're going to definitely uh, map out where it goes uh, so we know how, how far we have to go. Route 211 in that area was shut down for hours as firemen worked to keep the situation contained. There were no reports of any injuries, no word on how the fire got started. The principal at Washingtonville High School, Michael Rossi of New Windsor, has pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor charge of endangering the welfare of a child for having what was termed inappropriate conduct with a 16-year-old male student. Rossi's plea came last night in New Windsor Town Court. Rossi had been placed on administrative leave following his arrest back in October of 2010. He was also facing two other misdemeanor charges in the town of Cornwall for endangering the welfare of a child and third-degree sexual abuse. Amid cries of a dysfunctional village government, close to 50 members of area unions joined Washingtonville Public Works employees in a protest over the lack of action on a new contract for local DPW workers. The union pressure prior to last night's village board meeting was held to express frustration over the inability of the divided village board to ratify an agreement for Public Works employees who've been working without a contract for the past two years. Teamsters Local 445 business agent Sandra Shattuck says an improper labor practice charge has been filed with the State Public Employment Relations Board claiming the Washingtonville officials have bargained in bad faith. He was arrested after a cab driver spotted him throwing a cash register over a chain link fence. The suspect then climbed the fence, grabbed the cash register and ran off. Police uh, say 31-year-old Philip Ramos has had stolen the register from a laundromat on Broadway. Ramos was out on bail for a burglary at a Sacred Heart Church in Newburgh. Police say uh, there was only a little money in that stolen register. Its name is the Grandview Palace Condominiums, but palace is not the word Town of Fallsburg engineers would use to describe uh, the Lock Sheldrake condo complex. Fire safety and building maintenance code violations has led to town engineer Keystone Associates to recommend that residents be evacuated until uh, the violations are addressed. Problems with the Grandview sprinkler and fire alarm systems have been cited, along with exposed wiring and water leaks. The most recent report listed 26 violations. Reporter Leonard Sparks will have the full story on the Grandview Palace condominiums in tomorrow's edition of the Times-Herald Record. Governor Andrew Cuomo has set March 20th as the date for special elections to fill vacant uh, seats in, in the Assembly, including the 100th District, uh, now vacant following the death of uh, Newburgh Republican Assemblyman Thomas Kerwin back in November. As it currently stands, the 100th District includes communities in Orange, Dutchess, and Ulster counties. Democrat Frank Scartados, the man uh, Kerwin narrowly defeated in 2010, is in the running along with a group of Republicans. Dutchess County Legislator uh, Bob, Rob Rollison and uh, John Foreman, Ulster Legislator Richard Jarantine, former Ulster lawmaker uh, Catherine Terizzi, and Kerwin's daughter Victoria Fabiano. Special election winner will have to run again in the fall in order to get a full two-year term. A Milford, Pennsylvania historic landmark is up for sale, the Muir House which had uh, most recently been a bed and breakfast and restaurant, is now on the market with an asking price of $425,000. Owner Sean Strube uh, closed the business in August because it had not been profitable. Sale of the Muir House uh, contents will be held this Saturday from 10 to 3. The house uh, was built in 1840 and named for naturalist John Muir, founder of the Sierra Club. Its list of uh, bed and breakfast visitors included cast members from the Sopranos TV series, uh, Broadway star Patti Lapone and Pulitzer Prize winner Frank McCourt. 
And the Pine Forest School Board will get a, their own viewing of a special high school video project during the meeting tonight. Board members will be watching the Pine Bush High School Lip Dub, a video featuring students and staffers singing and dancing in hallways, on desks, in the high school gym, and in the cafeteria. The video, complete with the rock song music, was shot in about an hour, according to high school principal Aaron Hopmeyer. It was uh, shot uh, without any class time lost and with zero cost involved. The rock video already has uh, more than 6,500 views on YouTube. Clouds and rain are the weather words for the next 48 hours. Wednesday will be cloudy with rain moving in during the evening hours. The highs will reach the upper 40s. More clouds and showers in the forecast for Thursday, with temperatures again topping out in the 45 to 50 degree range. Get a complete wrap-up of all the day's events as well as sports and your favorite features in tomorrow's Times Herald Record and keep clicking back here at Record Online to keep up with breaking news. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.